Hi, I'm MTG and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we're checking out a fun Azorius Blink Commander that is focused on just making a lot of clue tokens. So I was pretty excited to get this together because I tried a similar version of this in paper using Amy Sparrow where we just blinked that a lot and then our main win con was again to use Rise and Shine, which I'll explain that card here in a second. So no further ado, let's go check out the deck list and I will see you in a second. Before we get started with the gameplay, just want to say thank you so much to our channel members and Patreons. Sapperlane list is heckin' growing over here, so thank you all for your support. Tree Folk level, thank you Frosty K, I smell death on you, and thanks, hi I'm Rory. Appreciate all of your support. Alright friends, today we are rocking Alquis Prof. Master Sleuth, they're 3 CMC, they have Vigilance, and then when they enter the battlefield you investigate. If you pay X, a little white source, and then two blue sources, you can tap your commander to sacrifice a clue, and if you do this, you draw X cards and gain X life. So for this commander, it's Azorius, so I thought it'd be fun to do an Azorius Blink Commander where we're blinking our commander or other things that make clue tokens on ETB. And our goal, really, that I super want to win with is Rise and Shine, where we make all of these like little tokens, and it could be like treasure tokens or clue tokens. We turn them into four four, you know, creatures and go wide and bonk face. So one of the things that I really wanted to do in order to achieve this win was to use Mondrak, Glory Dominus, O'Hare, those things that double tokens essentially to help us double up on, you know, anything that we're trying to make token wise. And we also have some cool other blink effects here where we're trying to make three, three golems. So we have the splicers that can, you know, make these on ETB that give like first strike and all those things. So again, our goal is to just blink a lot of stuff, get value from it and hopefully you know, frustrate our opponent with all the shenanigans that we're doing, or just, again, I really want to do Rise and Shine and try to win that way. So let's see if we can pull off the win, and I hope y'all enjoy this Artifact Azorius Control deck. So, with no further ado, I will see you out there. There's a Lord Protector. Okay. Um, uh, we got a Molly that. And this feels kind of okay it's not my favorite we'll see where it goes though enter tapped don't have like most of our interaction other than just cipher which isn't bad but it's not like what i'm really looking for right now put in the commander make a clue token go bonk perfect Ooh, carry the glass spinner is fun. Uh, let's put in Lavina, and we'll go ahead and attack here for three. Okay. If we can get another land drop, that would be pretty glorious, in my opinion. Pretty darn glorious. This is the flip one. Yeah. Okay. Kira is a great card, but it'd be a huge nombo in this deck since it counters the ability. So if you're we trying to blink stuff, it would just get countered. Cavern. Let's say God. Oh my God. Let's do Thassa. We'll attack here. They're gonna want to draw. So they'll block. Oof. We'll blink you. Sweet. Very seems good. I'm not going to say this. You need to slow down. Seems good. Alright. We'll start by going to combat. We'll send one buddy here. Five buddies there. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I'll have a better plan and next time. Let's do Padim. Yeah, see what this the shenanigans gets up to we do need to discover the formula 
but I'm, if my commander doesn't get exiled, which it might here. Okay, I was going to say I was going to try to activate their ability, but unable to do that. Sadness on the stack. Yes. My turn. Ooh. 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 Doing this for sure. I love my realm. They're like my favorite <laughs> card. So I'm quite biased towards casting them. I could have put my commander in, but whew, that's pre pretty darn good as well. Pretty darn good. Ooh. Ooh, that's great for us. Oh, that was super good. Okay, let's start with Aetherflux. Then we exile God Eternal. Oh wait, does it have... Exile you, I think. Oh no, everything gets countered the first time. Wasn't as great as I thought that was going to be. Do 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 No attack. End turn. Yep, totally, totally forgot about the Kira doing that stuff, so... Oh no! Oh, nar. They do have counter magic up as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's so tempting. I think we're gonna want to use. Oh gosh, I don't know anymore. Decision paralysis. Maybe we do psych rift to that. And then swords. Is that right? Result. Result. And then what are we gonna exile? You attack? Does that make sense? I don't know if I did that right. We'll see. Wish I had more mana. Smothering Tithe would be great. Okay. We do discover the formula. Soul guide. Uh, exile that. And I think that's the best we can do for now, unfortunately. So I think we're gonna probably want to get O'Hare and all that glitters in. Oof, and I didn't have my negate up, unfortunately. Six damage in the air. Pass. I think we can part with this. Okay. Resolve. Okay, got Eternal Oketra. Seems good, seems good. Pass. I think we blocked with Lavina. Oof, okay. Resolve. My turn. Okay, so no one can counter my stuff. Let's start with O'Hare. Gain some life. And then all that glitters. Put it on you. And I'm gonna leave 
leave the gate mana up in case they happen to have like more stuff, but at least we got some blocks here. And they can attack our things at the moment. Or uh, not attack, but exile stuff just because we have negate. Or uh, Myrael is keeping them from casting spells on our turn. But then we also have negate to help keep us protected potentially. Unless they have like an ETB effect that's going to happen here. But I'm mostly hoping to shut down any extra turns they might have. Uh, let's do negate. Gain some life. Pass. Okay, okay. Resolve. My turn. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Um, let's start with Mondrak. Uh, okay. Then we also have Thraben. Fossa. Okay. And then we can attack here. Let's attack here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, they just took it? Alright. Wasn't expecting that. G heckin' G's. Oh, Pant Laza. Oof. Okay. <laughs> we have Wash Away. Okay, I think we can actually keep this. Because even if our, like, Aether Flux gets blown up, we can still get to that restoration eventually, too. This suck that I think you know, that they're going first. Hopefully we don't get mana screwed again either. That was pretty rough. Pretty rough, friends. Okay, Chromatic Lantern. Uh, I still think Rhystic Study is the way to go. Oop. They can get their commander in. Seems good. Take action. Yep. Nice. Draw. Sweet. Alright. I think we put in this tap land and just pass. Oh, definitely don't want to attack in turn. And then I'll just try to like counter whatever they cast for this pant laza. Trying to think of what else makes sense here. <laughs> I think this can resolve. I'm gonna be a little bit more picky about like what we let resolve here. That's pretty good. You pay the one. Let me draw. Yeah. Oh, perfect. We'll use this one instead. No box. I think we'll put in this command tower. I feel like uh, the smithy might actually make more sense. It'd be nice to get a blink thing going too. No attack. And this can counter stuff from exile. Hopefully they don't put in the tally. Okay, could be a lot worse. It's not great, but it could be worse. Take action. Okay, Smothering Tithe will be good. Okay, 
Okay, so they put that instant into hand. Okay. Put this buddy in. And I think smothering tithe makes the most sense, right? Okay. Then we wait for combat on their turn to do swords to plowshares. End turn. There we go. Giving us the treasure. Okay. Let's see what happens. That's a good card. Drop. I think we counter this. It's too strong. It gets so much value with just the exiling stuff, but then making treasure. We can't let it resolve. Unfortunately. Double block the pant laza. Take ten. Okay. Oof. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, I think they accidentally put it back to their uh their hand. We'll do this. And this. Then we pass. No attack. Okay, giving me that. That's nice. That's huge. Okay. Uh, resolve. Take action. Sweet. Resolve. And I'm guessing they're fighting my little token buddy. Oh, against Trample and Haste. Okay. I'm so nervous. So they attack. I have to exile the seven CMC buddy here, or the seven Trampler. Hopefully they don't have the protection. Okay, are they going to combat? Okay, they are. So we will exile that buddy, hopefully. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Sweet. Okay. Then double block no we block here block here hopefully that makes sense Whew. take action sweet oh that's perfect okay um we'll start with you we'll do this We'll do this. Oh, day of judgment. Um, decline. Then we'll do my rail. And I think that makes sense, right? Because now, <laughs> what's their face? Their commander is not going to be able to. Uh, Discover stuff. I hope they don't pay because I don't. Okay, sweet. Now we have God's Willing up. Okay, two. Put in their commander. Resolve. They're letting us have it. Resolve. They paid. And then now Lavina's just gonna counter whatever they try to cheat in here. So it's solemn. It's gonna get countered by Lavina. Resolve. Resolve. I think we can do this. I'm starting to feel a bit more optimistic. We'll see though. 
getting our blink factor would be quite nice because then we could blink the thousand moon smithy and then we'll make some treasure here because they can't pay the two so we'll make two treasure sweet they're going in for the bonk here um, I'm gonna give them protection from green Green. Uh, we'll put that to the bottom and then we'll block here. Okay. Sweet. Um, decline. I think we then want to do O'Hare and Mondra. Attack here. Okay. I think my rail is fine to lose. And then we can get a commander and maybe Galma. Maybe my commander first so we draw something. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. I think alternatively here too, we can um, board wipe with Mondrak as well. But let's see what we get with our commander first. So like, not board wipe with Mondrak, but board wipe, get um, Mondrak indestructible. Okay, they hit Galta, that's actually really, really big. Because Galta is just like, um, if something attacks, it triggers what their ability does. But if they do attack in, we'll just destroy or like block with everything. My turn. What does this transform into? It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Then we'll put this in. Then I think we activate. Actually, we have enough mana for everything, so let's just do that. We'll sack you, you, and yep. Sweet. Then we'll go ahead and I think attack with all the things. Obedience. Then we get the commander. Okay. Well, <laughs> never mind. G heck and G's. Ooh, El Shnor. I think this is one that shuts down ETBs, unfortunately. And that's kind of what our deck wants to do. Uh, free mulligan. Okay, I think we can keep this. Yeah, this is the shutdown ETB. Yep. Yep. This is fine. We're okay. This is fine. This is what you want out of life, right? Obstacles that you can overcome, grow as a person, all of those fun things. Oh, sweet, we have interaction. Uh, I'm probably gonna put Rhystic Study in next. Brave the Sands. Creatures you control have vigilance. Each creature you control can block an additional creature. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that yet. Oop. My turn. Sorry, I got too excited. Boop. Can I put you in? No. Okay. Do it this way. Fist study. Boop. Sweet. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Let's put in this island. Let's do. 
find stone for the stonks. Commander in. And whenever they get their commander in, hopefully we have our stuff ready to shut down what they're trying to do. Okay, draw a card. Whoop. I have been reborn. Reborn. Seems pretty cool. Okay. Let's do cavern. Let's just say human. Human. Boop. Um. Let's do Malicator. And then let's do Soul Herder. And we can't attack through safely, but we will blink this friend. Shboop. Shboop. There we go. Look at that. Okay, Elliot Norn's in. We'll draw. Ooh, Aetherflux. That'll be very nice for us. Gain some life from that nerd, at least. Okay. So, I'll put in this port town. We'll do Aetherflux, because we still will have enough to cast this Fateful Absence to hit that. That's, yeah, just enough life gain, I think. And then we go ahead. What do we want to do? Oh, no, they can put counters on stuff. I don't know if I made the right decision then. Right here. So they block my commander. Oh, that's right. It can block an additional thing. I forgot about that. Bummer. I think they got it then. We'll blink this nerd. Yeah, because then they can just hit me in the air for lethal, I think. That's a bummer. Yeah, they put two counters on. I think that's for Xaxes, right? Or are they more scared about the, uh... Oh boy, I don't have any mana, so it doesn't matter. Take action. Oh, River's Rebuke. That's huge. But they'd have to hit me for lethal right now. That's it? They had lethal. <gasps> I don't think opponents saw I had lethal. So we can tap this and still have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, gaining life. Then we do this. Oh my God, I think we... Oh my God, did we do it? Oh, let's blink this friend. So we put in you. Let's start with land tax. Let's do worm coil. Resolve. And I think that's all we do for now. Yeah, okay. Whew. Seems good. Take action. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. I'm quite scared. Ooh, they have judgment. I'll wait for them to commit to the board maybe a bit more. Okay. 
So we can actually start with Aether Spell Bomb. Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> GG's. That was really scary. Skrillib, Defector Might. Alright. Um, we have a blink engine. I feel like we can keep it. Boop. Boop, boop. We got Skrillex. We got Skrillex. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we need it. Seems good. Uh, let's put this friend in. We'll go get maybe a hollowed fountain. Yeah. Okay, two life. Put it in. That way we have a blocker. And if they use like swords or something, it's not the end of the world to me. Let's go ahead and pay the life, I think. Yeah. Um, if I put you in, I can still cast the Malachator. Um, decline. I know that's bad. Okay. Then we're going to put in the Malachator. Boop. Make a blocky boy. Make a blocky boy. And Urza will help us a lot too. Mm. One, two, three, four, five mana. Get Abuelo in. Sadly, won't be able to blink them. No block. Okay. Uh, what makes sense here? We have two more poison counters left. Do we think they have... I don't think they have any more um, pacifism type things. And we'll get Abuelo in so we can start blinking stuff next turn. And no attack. Yeah. Borrowed time. Oh my god, they had more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six mana that we have available. We can leave two mana up. We'll blink you. And then I'll just go to combat here, hit them for two, and then end turn. Make a little friend. Okay. Again. Can't hit our friend that um, is the golem here. Bathe in ghost fire. Okay. My turn. Sweet. Okay. Let's do this and blink that friend. And I think we go to combat. We swing in the air here. Perfect. Okay. And turn. And then now we get our friend back. Make a golem. Sweet. Okay. Resolve. Okay. 
trying to attack. Pass here. Go to block there. And then I'm going to say protection from white. Resolve. We will pay the one because we have the one. And then I'm just going to say white. So now it's going to die. Sweet. Okay. We have a new double striking friend. We have our other land drop here. I think we can afford to blink this friend again. Just trying to build up a bit of a board state here before we drop the Urza Prince Krug. Um, and then I'll go ahead and attack here. And I can get the commander's uh, shenanigans off of them here too with the, the Abuelo blinking. I just feel like we're getting more value by blinking the Malakator. I also want to leave the Psych Rift up just in case. They have some sort of combat tricks I'm not ready for. Okay. Okay. My turn. Ooh, that's going to be fun to blink as well. Let's get uh, Galma the Shaper in. And then I think we attack here just in the air and we're just hanging out trying to keep things cool because we are down to two more poison counter things here. So I want to be able to psych rip back um, when we can. Because they skip past their combat steps, so now I'm just going to blink our, our buddy that makes buddies. Sweet. Um, Prince Krug. I don't know. Do we hold up our removal? I think we do. Yeah, we're going to hold up. I'm almost there with my little army. And then we cycle next turn. Resolve. Yeah. So now we can clear up the board and hit them for lethal. As long as they don't have the board wipe. Okay. Blink them. I think we can take the four here, right? Yeah. But just to be safe, I am gonna bounce them back. Sweet. So I'd have had to do that, I think, before I targeted it. In, overload this, auto pay, and then bonk face for the win. G heck and G's. All right, friends, I've gotten close for one game that I didn't share because it was 20 minutes to only end in disappointment, but I tried to pull off the rise and shine win and it got countered and I was so devastated. Uh, and then I lost that one. But other than that, I think this deck had a pretty decent win rate. Um, there were times where I kind of got randomly mana screwed, where I just got stuck at three lands, even though I believe this deck has like 40 lands in it, or that, or it's like 39, but I know we have a lot of lands in this deck, so we shouldn't be missing our land drops. But with that, Rise and Shine still on the bucket list to pull off. I hope you all enjoyed the shenanigans with that. I really, really tried so hard to get a video recorded using Rise and Shine as the win con. Uh, as far as like MVPs go, I think like Aetherflux is always just going to earn it pretty much in any deck that it's in, but it definitely was a critical piece of this deck to help keep us alive just because of that life gain we had going from it. And then I think like Thassa is such a critical like blink technology piece for just getting our deck to do the thing that it wants because 
one we can tap down creatures and maybe get a cool bonk in or uh you know other creature that i think stood out as well for an mvp card is this urza just because it gives plus two plus two to other artifact creatures so if we're making golems those turn into five fives another cool synergy piece that i did want to call out is from oh my gosh where did it go all that glitters so all that glitters here a uh, chanted creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control I had a couple of games where it set me up for the win because we made a ton of like different artifacts from our commander's blink ability or uh, ETB ability where when we blink them we're making like all these clue tokens and then it's fun to use like God's Willing or something else that gives our commander protection from like a color type and then if we put all that glitters on them we're potentially hitting someone for like 15 15 damage and also like putting all that glitters on my rail is super fun i think at one point we turned them into like a 45 45 which was pretty fun as well but yeah so hope you enjoyed the deck let me know how you would build this commander what were some thoughts i didn't put extra turn spells in here because i wanted to try something different and i feel like those can be a bit of a crutch at time so this deck is just shenanigans with artifacts and hit and face yeah hope you all have a good one and bye